Hi everyone, this is Diane here and today I'm going to walk you through a quick demo of surveys in Listener. Before we get started, it's worth mentioning that we have two main types of surveys available on the platform. The first is what we call a design survey. And this is ideal for when you want to gather feedback on a creative asset like a video, some audio or an image, because this is actually displayed on screen as you ask your questions. And then the other type of survey we have available is called questions in the test builder. And this is your more traditional text-based survey. So I'm about to walk you through both types of surveys so you can see what they look like. So the first thing I'm going to show you do is select design survey from the options here. And then I can go ahead and add in my image. And if I wanted to, I could preview this to make sure it's all looking okay. If I wanted to, um, I could also add video or audio files. And this is, um, when you're testing with these types of files, participants won't actually be able to answer questions until they've watched or listened to that file at least once. So it sort of just gives you that reassurance. And next I can add in my questions. And design surveys are really good for testing comprehension. So you can ask your participants questions about a design and check whether they understand it in the way that you intended. So I'm gonna ask a couple of questions here. What do you think this page is for? And I'm going to make that a long text question. And then I'm gonna add another question and ask, is there anything you find confusing? Because I really wanna get a sense of do people understand what this design is for? I'm also going to choose uh, long text for that question as well. And you can add as many questions here as you like. And that is pretty much design surveys in a nutshell. They're really flexible and good for testing comprehension and user expectations. And you can also add them to other sorts of tests in Listener. So for example, you might add a design survey after a five second test and upload the same design but obviously because it's, uh, the design is gonna be displayed for a lot longer, you can ask different sorts of questions. Okay, I'm gonna show you other type of survey that we have available, and I'm gonna go ahead and click add a section. And like I mentioned earlier, we call this questions in the test builder. So I'll just go ahead and select questions. And this is ideal for when you want to build text-based surveys. Like if you wanted to run a customer feedback survey or wanted to gather some qualitative data. And as with any other type of test in Listener, there are a variety of questions you can ask. Uh, we've got short and long text, single choice, multiple choice, and linear scale and ranking questions. So what I want to do is conduct a closed end question survey here to gather some uh, quantitative data about streaming services. So I'm going to go ahead and ask, do you subscribe to a streaming service? And I'm going to make that a single choice question with yes and no. And I'm going to make that a required question so participants actually do have to answer this question. And then let's say I wanted to get some more information from these people who answered yes to the first question. I can choose this as a conditional question. So I'm going to go ahead and tick uh, show conditionally and I'm going to show this question if the target answers question 2.1 with a yes. And what I'm particularly interested in finding out from those uh, participants who answered yes is what streaming services do you subscribe to? I'm going to go ahead and um, add in a multiple choice question here and enter my options. What you can also do here is choose show and show other option. And this just means that after the list of multiple choice questions, there will be an other field and your participants can answer in, like add in their own response. And then the other thing you can do is um, show your options in a random order. So each participant, it's not shown in the same order for every single participant. And then if I wanted to ask a linear scale question, I can go ahead and add another question here. I'll select linear scale. And I might ask, how satisfied are you with the streaming services you use? I might make one very dissatisfied and five very satisfied. You can also choose to add some more conditional questions for those participants who answered no, the first question. Um, otherwise, they'll be led to a completion screen. So you sort of get the idea. This is a really flexible way to build surveys with all of the different question types you can ask. 
You can also make questions a requirement or allow participants to skip those questions. And you can add conditional questions to direct your participants based on how they've answered previous questions. Okay, so now my surveys have been created, I'm gonna go ahead and click save and continue. And you'll be led to a recruitment screen. So here I can either choose to recruit with a listener link, so I could send that out to my own network, or I could place an order with the listener panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then over here, I can choose the number of participants I wanna recruit. So let's say I wanna recruit 25. I can also go ahead and choose from the different demographics that are on offer here. And then over in the right hand side, it will show me the number of credits that I'll need to, in order to place this order and the estimated turnaround time. So I'll actually just go ahead and pause the video here and I'll come back and show you my results. Okay, my results are in and I can see the responses to my questions down here. I've actually started to go ahead and tag my responses and this is a really good way to group similar responses together. Um, all you have to do is hover over the answer and if you click the little tag icon here, you can add a new tag. So if I wanted to tag this one as movies, I can just add that tag. And if I want to, I can also go ahead and change the color. Click save. So you can go through and just tag all of your responses. And then when you head to the tags tab here, you'll see those grouped responses and you can start to get a picture of the percentage and the number of respondents who answered in that way. Another thing you can do is go to the word cloud and I can see out of all of the responses, the big words here are streaming subscription plan service. So I'm starting to get a sense that people do understand the purpose of the page, which is really great. Um, if I wanted to, I could also export this as an image and pop this in a report or something like that. And then coming down to the other survey I created, I can see that out of 25 participants, 23 subscribe to a streaming service, and that's 92% overall. Um, and then out of those 23 people, I can go and see how they answered the question about what streaming services do they subscribe to. And it looks like 19 out of the 23, so that's 83% subscribe to Netflix. So it looks like that's the most popular service. And then if I want to filter the results, so if I click this little filter icon here, this is actually going to filter the results um, throughout the rest of the results page. So if I click this, I can go ahead and see that Based on the people who have Netflix, 63% of them, they look, it looks like they're pretty satisfied with the streaming services that they subscribe to. Um, another filter I could apply is over in the left-hand side here. If I wanna see, say out of um, an age group from 40 to 44, if I click that filter here, again, it will filter the rest of the results page for me. And then in terms of collaboration, if I want to tag a team member to direct them to a particular answer, all I need to do is click this add a comment icon here. I just need to add mention them and then they'll get an email with your comment directing them um, directly to this page. And then the other thing I can do is if I go up to the top of the page, I can click the share button up here and you just need to activate this um, icon here to link active. And then you can copy and share this link on Slack or via email or whatever service you use. And anyone will be able to access this page. They don't actually need a listener account in order to do so. And then the final thing I can do is export these results as a CSV. So I could export those and go ahead and do some, some more analysis. So that's design surveys and questions in listener at a high level. There's a lot you can do here. And if you're looking for ideas, we have some ready-made templates available that you can customize to suit your needs. I'll link to our templates library in the description, along with some other helpful surveys resources. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to give us a like and subscribe for more updates or reach out if you have any questions. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.